So we are standing here at the Carlsbad desalination plant here in Carlsbad, California. We're just on the eastern side, if you will, of uh, Carlsbad Boulevard. Just on the other side of the street, we have the Pacific Ocean. On the eastern side here, if you will, of us, we have the Agua Hedionda Lagoon. We're bringing in just under 300 million gallons of seawater every single day, um, going through the intake system behind us. And then from there, about 100 million gallons of that water is going up to the Carlsbad desalination plant up the hill. Um, that water is going through our reverse osmosis membranes and will ultimately become high quality drinking water for the San Diego County region. That remaining about 200 million gallons of water is actually going to go and be diluted with our brine solution to dilute that. So then our brine solution can be considered ambient ocean water by the time it gets out to the ocean itself. So seawater desalination complements uh, potable reuse and water recycling because seawater desalination brings on new water you can't recycle what you don't have. So having that new supply of water that the seawater desalination plant provides um, works together with the portable reuse or the recycling facilities for a regional wide concept that uses all the tools in the toolbox to make a drought proof resilient supply. So it, it's 10% of our region's um, supply and it, it is also locally controlled here in San Diego. So we have access to the Pacific Ocean. It's drought resilient, drought proof, and being able to implement and provide that into our water supply portfolio makes the water authority and our ratepayers resilient from you know, a lot of the threats that we have here in California, whether it's drought or earthquakes or things that, that could impact water that has to come a long ways to get to San Diego. Now we have at least a portion of that water being produced right here in our backyard. We began operating in December of 2015. When we first came online, we were operating uh, with the Encina power plants and using some of their in existing infrastructure. The power plant itself, though, shut down and began de going through decommissioning in December of 2018. Since then, we have installed our own fish-friendly dilution pumps to continue operations, and we're going through uh, the process of looking for additional modifications for our intake system to comply with the California Ocean Plan amendments. As we're further investigating and getting into if you will, more of the details on the design of the lagoon-based intake design, we ran into some challenges when looking at the actual intake piping, what that would look like. Further onshore at our existing intake pipeline, just over the period of less than 10 months, we saw a significant amount, uh, significant, excuse me, increase in marine growth, going from one inch of marine growth up to six inches of marine growth. Um, the ring growth consists really of these of mussels and gooseneck barnacles. So the alternative essentially is a modified version of the existing intake, which is behind us here. We're essentially taking the infrastructure from, or the old infrastructure from the power plant and upgrading it, if you will, to be compliant with the ocean plan amendment requirements. All of these steps will help us ensure that we are protecting marine life in this lagoon.